After escaping the war in eastern Ukraine, some of the injured arrive here in Lviv, on the western side of the country, to get much-needed medical help. Nina Svirun lost her leg during an attack on her village in the Kherson region. I was together with my children. They went inside and I was outside and this happened. I couldn't call to my daughter-in-law. There were no windows and doors. Everything was destroyed. Fighting continues in eastern Ukraine as Russia's military pushes to try to secure control over the Donbass region. But many civilians are paying the price. People here arrive with wounds that are infected with shrapnel, clothing, among other things. Some of the wounds are weeks old. Doctors here tell us that they're desperate to get more antibiotics and other medical supplies to treat those who are injured. Volunteer doctors like James Henderson are helping as best they can. Um, you know, same injuries. He's using his annual leave from the National Health Service in the United Kingdom to carry out reconstructive surgeries. Mainly civilians with horrible war injuries uh, from landmines, gunshots, shrapnel, um, blast injuries. Um, our reconstructive techniques are very difficult to do in this environment. Um, but we are managing. You know, essentially the equipment they've got here is about Second World War um, era. Um, and so we are using kind of techniques that you would have been used in those, in those times. 70% of patients do not survive a limb injury. And that's why training doctors with new techniques is crucial. Population. Dr. Knat Hedic says he has been working non-stop since the war started. We're fighting with the country that, um, that don't separate the children, the women, the old men and the militaries that strike to the civilian uh, um, infrastructure, to the school, they destroyed more than 300 hospitals in the, east, in the center of Ukraine. It's been almost six months since the war began, and those who are being treated here are grateful to get a second chance.